Sadaqan from a mountain top. An overview of Sadaqan's palette. A documentary by Sadaqan Foundation USA, made in January 2021. Art and culture are the identity of a nation. By all measures, Sadaqan was the finest ambassador of the nation's identity. Sadaqan was a polymath, a confluence of Picasso, Michelangelo, Omar Khayyam, and calligrapher Yakut. Likes of him are not born for centuries. His work was unique like none other, innovative, and by all measures difficult to duplicate. In his lifetime, Sadaqan's talent was recognized and acknowledged on all five continents. Not many Pakistanis can make this claim. French newspaper Le Monde quoted, Sadaqan's multiplicity is reminiscent of Picasso. UAE newspaper Khalish Times declared him responsible for the renaissance of calligraphic art. Sadaqan is perhaps the only individual who was recognized by the Pakistan government by establishing three institutions in his name, namely Gallery Sadaqan in Karachi, Gallery Sadaqan in Lahore, and Gallery Sadaqan in Islamabad. Not many Pakistanis can make this claim. Sadaqan is also the only Pakistani who has been awarded all four civilian awards in the field of arts, namely Nishan Imtiaz, Sitara Imtiaz, Tanga Imtiaz, and Pride of Performance by the Government of Pakistan. It is common knowledge that, with a few exceptions of large commissioned artworks such as the gigantic mural at the Mangla Dam, titled The Saga of Labor, which was paid by the World Bank, Sadaqan never sold his artworks. He gave them away to individuals and institutions with, with no strings attached. Sadaqan's artworks were worth more than 1,000 words and valued at more than a billion dollars. It will not be an exaggeration to say that he gave more to the nation than any other man or woman, but he died penniless by his own choice. Even a brief look at Sadaqan's palette speaks volumes of his monumental talent and touches our soul. Sadaqan's compositions, whether simple or complex, perform magically with the complexity of a well-orchestrated symphony. They represent poetry of color, harmony of rhythm, and the power of a tempest. Sadaqan's paintings, classified as modern art, mirror his own words when he said, People ask why I don't paint flowers, butterflies, and landscapes. I tell them that I seek the truth and I am after reality. I am not inspired by someone posing against the backdrop of roses in a vase or pink curtains. What inspires me is a person who has gone hungry for hours and is struggling for survival. The expression that lights his face at the end of the day when he has finally found some scraps, that is what touches me. I am a painter of the expression of reality." Unquote. Sadaqan believed that renouncing the seduction and eschewing the allurement of material entrapments can help levitate mankind to an exalted state. His wide array of paintings constitutes a singularly unique achievement by an artist at the highest level. The sumptuous collection of his artworks represents Sadaqan's perceptions in which he draws inspiration from the ancient wisdom of Sufi traditions which for centuries have represented some of mankind's purest instincts. As archetypal, cult, or quintessential expressions of mystic vision, his imagery transcends our latent susceptibilities. They hold a beacon to the path of enlightenment, guide through the gateway of a spiritual freedom, and provide a conduit to transpersonal truth. As we gaze at the extraordinary herb, we are transported to the core of our subliminal state. This visual journey through a blissful odyssey is an unadulterated experience of heightened awareness as our senses process these mystic images and nurture our experiences for a meaningful life. His palette reflects various states of self-realization and consciousness. When we are not in control of our intrinsic potentialities, they may stray off the course. But if we reach down and attain awareness of our innermost sentiments, then they manifest themselves in rapturous passion. 
Sadakan's portfolio is wide and deep. Sadakan's portfolio spans over various genres. Let's take a brief look. Portraiture or portrait drawing. Sadakan only made portraits of family or friends, that too with abundance. But even when heads of state came to visit him, he did not please them by making their portraits. Impressionism. His visual impressions produced by scenes characterized by the use of mental association with environment, his surroundings, what was happening around him. Realism. He strived to achieve the true and accurate depiction of what he observed in nature. His imagery is his commentary along the realist themes. Surrealism or looking beyond the boundaries. Sadhakan sought to channel the unconscious as a means to unlock the power of the imagination. This approach manifested even in Sadhakan's attempts at drawing his dreams on paper when he was under 10 years old. Modernism, influenced by the order of the day. Sadhakan sought for truth discovered through reason that would free people from the dogmas and shackles. Symbolism, reaching the roots. Sadhakan employed symbolism in which he infused realist themes with mysticism. This approach served as a catalyst in his move toward abstraction. Sufism and more. Sadhakan called his artwork mystic figurations as a supplement to orthodox religious thinking seeking clarity of higher order. He sought communion with identity and emphasis on personal experience over doctrine and a conduit to gain awareness of the ultimate truth through soul searching and intuition. Sadhakan's interpretation of Ghalib's mystique. Ghalib is regarded as the most revered Urdu poets. Ghazal, arguably the most popular form of Urdu poetry, conforms to a specific format and in retrospect predominantly deals with one subject, an expression of anguished and unattainable love. Interpretation of Iqbal's Self-Realization Iqbal is one of the preeminent scholars of the Indo-Pakistan continent. He has in fact been called as the most serious Muslim writer, poet and philosopher of modern times. Iqbal is held in high esteem as a poet and philosopher by his admirers around the globe. Iqbal's poetry and philosophy are mutually inclusive. They do not exist in isolation from each other but as an integral part of each other. His poetry serves as a vehicle for his philosophical thought. Interpretation of Albert Camus' novel, The Stranger. It was a remarkable achievement. What an incredible scenario. How did Sadhakan manage to impress the French jury to select him for the coveted assignment of pictorially interpreting the most famous novel written by the French Nobel laureate, Albert Camus? France is a nation known to have more artists per square mile than any other country. Sadhakan, a Pakistani, could not read or write French. Then how could he comprehend the intellectually taxing French novel based on the philosophical complexities of existentialism? Murals, the most demanding art form is making murals. The only muralist Pakistan has produced is Sadhakan. If Sadhakan had painted only murals, still he would be considered the greatest artist of the country. Mural art is considered the most demanding art form because it requires imagination, skill, stamina and resources. It is for this reason that there have not been many mural artists who existed. Michelangelo and Diego Rivera are the most prominent names in this realm. Now imagine this, the number and surface area of Sadhakan's murals is larger than that of Michelangelo and Diego Rivera combined.
Sadaqen's monumental murals represent an unparalleled body of artistic genius of the region. He painted more than 40 murals over his career during the 1950s through the 1980s. A muralist of great merit, his murals adorn the museum at the State Bank of Pakistan in Karachi, powerhouse at the Mangla Dam measuring 170 feet by 28 feet is one of the largest murals in the world. Lahore Museum Entry Hall Ceiling and the Islamic Gallery, Punjab University, Punjab Public Library, Prayer Hall Karachi Ceiling, Aligarh Muslim University in India, Urdu Markaz in Hyderabad, Banaras Hindu University in India, Indian Institute of Geological Sciences of India, Abu Dhabi Powerhouse, and in Luzon, Switzerland, are just to name a few of his murals. The murals are tributes to man's constant quest to discover and develop his endless potential. To put it in perspective, his work at the Indian Research Institute of Islamic Studies, if placed side by side, would cover more than 3,000 square feet of space. Calligraphy Renaissance of Calligraphic Art the headline in Khalish Times on June 20th, 1980, aptly stated, Renaissance of Islamic Calligraphy, a mystic artist from Pakistan who has become a legend in his own time. The remarkable story of Sadaqan who did not seek but was endowed with divine inspiration. Sadaqan elevated the vocational skill of calligraphy to calligraphic art form and promoted the vocational calligraphers who were relegated to the task of inscribing for Urdu newspapers and magazines to the ranks of artists. Now the art of pictorial calligraphy is flourishing and creating new possibilities. Poetry, introspective and soul searching. Professor Dr. Farid Parbati of Delhi, India, declared Sadatan was the greatest modern poet of Urdu Rubai in his book Tanqeed Rubai published in Delhi, India in 2010. Sadatan's poetry consisting of more than 3,000 Rubaiyat and several dozen Nazams have been published in four books. Rubaiyat Sadatan Nakash, Rubaiyat Sadatan Khatta, Rubaiyat Sadatani, and Juzwe Bosida. In the end of Sadatan answers the question, what is the relationship between the arts and life? This is a question that scholars seek to answer relentlessly. This relationship is the basic human instinct to achieve harmony, balance, and rhythm through universal communication. Man's communication with each other and with the environment lies at the core of all endeavors in arts and literature. And all artistic endeavors are a reflection of the truth about life. If we postulate that life has a purpose, which is to perpetually seek knowledge, development of self and paving the path of creative pursuits in the service of mankind, then all arts and literature must serve this goal in one way or another. Therefore, art and life cannot be divorced from each other.